Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Today we're going to talk about HTTP, a protocol, or rather a way, that allows most web browsers to talk to most websites. HTTP, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is a set of rules that determines how clients or web browsers, which are also known as user agents, request information from web servers or also known as or origin servers. Um, it also determines how these servers should respond to those requests. HTTP is a higher level protocol that runs over TCP IP. So if you've seen the video on TCP IP, you will know how it is used to find servers and also how it's used to deliver information over the internet. We're going to go one step further and introduce the concept of ports. A TCP IP port is a virtual interface through which data is sent and received. Ports are numbered 0 through about 65,000. Most common protocols usually listen to uh, specific ports for requests. In the case of HTTP, most web servers listen to port 80. A user agent sends a request by connecting via TCP IP to port 80 on the server. Upon hearing that request, the server responds with what is called a status line. If everything's been done correctly, that status should be okay. But examples of other statuses are file not found, authorization required, and so on and so forth. Assuming everything is okay, the server follows with the file or web page that the user agent wants to see. So for example, we're going to visit the class website by going to computerscience1.org. And as you can see on the screen, it pulls us up to the course website. Now, supposing we were trying to go somewhere that does not exist, um, simply as easy as just by adding something like home to the end, As you can see, we ended up with a file not found, along with a small message telling us that the file or directory that we are looking for does not exist. If you look at the address box on the web browser, you can see here that I'm typing in a web address or URL, uh, short for Uniform Resource Locator, also known as URI, or Uniform Resource Identifier. If you look at the URL, you can see that the first part, exam, HTTP, describes the scheme or the protocol. The next part, example.harvard.edu, is the host. Colon 80 refers to the port. Dir1 slash dir2 refers to path. And then species.html is the page. And then pound signed wings is the fragment. So what do we mean when we say that a user agent is sending a request? Well, that means the browser is sending a request in a certain syntax to let the server know exactly what it wants. For example, to view our website, computerscience1.org, the browser sends the following syntax. Aren't you glad that your browser does this for you? There are several types of requests each with slightly different syntax for different functionality. Get, from the example here, asks for the resource specified in the URI. It is the most common method used on the web today. Some other methods are head, post, which submits data for processing, for example, from an HTML form, put, delete, etc. Most web servers support at least get and head. Well, that's HTTP in a nutshell. I'm Eugenia Kim. Thanks for enjoying our video of the week.